And I started this emu farm because I can eat them. I have this very strange red meat allergy that I got about 12 years ago from a tick bite, they say. And it causes me to be allergic to all mammal meat. I started looking at what I could eat and found out about emu and ostrich and I thought I would just get a few birds and raise them for myself and the next thing I know I find all these other people that have the same meat allergy saying have you got meat because we would love to have some meat so now I have a lot of birds <laughs> and I'm raising them from young chicks from eggs incubating the eggs to young chicks um, to processing to selling meat and uh, taking care of all the breeders. The breeders will lay eggs in the winter time, usually starting in October or November, depending on the hen and rooster. And they'll lay eggs up till about this time of year. They're starting to uh, stop laying eggs right now. And then in the wild, the rooster will sit the eggs. The rooster takes care of the chicks. Um, for me, I put them in an incubator. It takes around 50 days, but it's a few days on either side, usually. And then, um, then they're put into the brooder barn, and uh, as soon as they get to be about three or four months old, then they'll go into the grow-out pens, and it'll be next summer before they're sent for processing. And right now, I'm sending them to processing in either Alabama or Missouri. Those are the two places that'll process emus. But with uh, state processing here in Arkansas, I'm very hopeful I can find somebody local to process a few hundred birds every year. It's, it's very much like red meat. Um, it's a very dark cut of meat. You'll, you would look at it and think that it couldn't possibly be bird, but it's bird. <laughs> and uh, it's leaner than turkey, so you really need to think of it more in the lines of even venison, where you're marinating it, you're cooking it, you know, you're not cooking it like you would like a regular beef steak, because there's no marbling in the meat. The funnest fact about emus is that the males sit the eggs in the wild, and the males raise the chicks and the girls will just go off and find somebody else to have some more eggs with. So right now I have a lot of really young birds, so not all of them were laying this year. So hopefully next year and year after I'll get more chicks. I hope to raise 400 chicks a year. I'm gonna have about 200 chicks this year. My products are online. I have a website, it's www gumcreekemus.com and there is a farm store and you can purchase everything online.